Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Todd McLeod. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting ready for a conference presentation. It is at 11.15. Right now it's 10.15. And so I just uh, I haven't coded since May because that's the nature of academia. And um, in my class, my Go class, we had budget issues at the college. My Go class got canceled in, uh, <clears throat> in the fall. So I'm kind of rusty a little bit with Go. And I need to do some uh, live code in here in an hour. So I'm just kind of refreshing my skills with uh, web dev. And this video here is like me getting ready for my presentation in one hour. So I'm just going to talk through what I'm doing and do my prep uh, right here with you. And so I just want, and so if you're interested in learning Go Web Dev, I'm going to, this is kind of, you know, the preliminary to the, uh, the presentation. So you can hang out for this video with me. And I'm going into package main, funk main, and then I'm just going to do HTTP listen and serve. And then I'll put in my, uh, uh, here on listen and serve, I want to put in the port address, the TCP port address I'm going to listen on. I'm going to use the default serve mux. So that's, uh, that's my nil right there. And I'm going to do HTTP handle. And we have handle funk. And that takes a pattern. And, uh, and a string, a pattern which is a string, <laughs> see, got a prep, and, uh, and then a, a function with that signature. So that's what I'm going to use here right at the beginning, and we'll drop that in. And the function is going to be foo, and I'm going to come down to create that func foo, and I need that signature. And so the first one I need is a response writer. And so there's my response writer, and then I need my request. And uh, it's a pointer to a request, and this is just how it's all set up. So this is like, you know, not a full explanation. If you want the full explanation and you found this video online, you could go to Greater Commons, and uh, I walk through all this much more slowly here at the Golang Web Dev course. And then also uh, all that code is at GitHub. GitHub goes to 11, goes to 11, and Golang Web Dev. That's where all the code is for the Golang Web Dev. So now here I could do an IO uh, write string, and I'm going to put my writer in, and then I'm going to uh, uh, put in some sort of, if you look at the signature on that, the signature it asks for a, write, a writer and a string. And so I'm going to then also put in a string and just put hello world, hello world. Sweet, and then I'll go run it, and uh, control C and CD up a level, and come down into O1B and go run run main.go and saying you want to allow this application to run I do and localhost 8080 hello world so that's a basic hello world uh, golang web app getting started step one 